this video is our last one in our series on the cruise that we took to Germany last Christmas 2021. Uh, this one is going to include cold blends and cologne. Really nice marketing cologne. Cold blends was a fortress that was really neat to see. Hope you enjoy the video. Time for room tour. So, this is our room. Bathroom. Room. Boats going by on the river. Open this up. Just like that. Trains. Rocks. There's castles out there. But it, it's on video, it looks a lot smaller, right? Yeah, it's really quite comfortable. It's very comfortable. Nice TV, plenty of spots to put all your stuff, it's a place to put your um, glow wine cups. Hello. And just incredible views. I mean, look at that. We're just amazed by what you can see. And this door opens up. You step out. You get this. Just amazing. What's more amazing? In here, it's 70 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> or whatever you want it to be. <laughs> out here, it's like freezing. So, but yeah, great room every day. The maid service is impeccable. The steward who comes, they give us water. They give us new glasses. They take away the coffee from the morning. They make the bed. They clean the bathroom. They do all the stuff that we do at home, but they do it here. So we don't have to do it, which is weird to get used to, isn't it, Beth? Yeah. It's just yeah. like your well and we always uh, we always clean up the room before we leave for breakfast or our afternoon tour or dinner because we know somebody's going to be in here cleaning up yeah <laughs> so we make sure all our stuff's like, out of the like way like here oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do something here so like down here that's where a lot of our junk goes <laughs> you know the the battery packs and the what have yous so but it's a great room very clean very quiet um, surprisingly, we're on the boat. You don't really even hear the boat. No. no. We've woken up and the boat was moving, am I right? Yeah. So it doesn't make any, it doesn't make any noise. A little bit. You get a little bit. We, we, there's, there'll be some video here where you can see the, the, um, uh, side thrusters, the bow thrusters going. And that's that's about the noisiest it gets, but nothing to wake you up. Would you say? No. no. Okay. The only thing that woke us up was the first night in the locks when they were going through the locks. I think that was just surprise, but yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we're in here. We're gonna we're gonna take our coats off, I think, and hang them up. I get I should cover this part. There's a closet. Again, where all the junk is. Uh, nice safe. Plenty of room for your stuff. They do have laundry service on board. So if you're if you wanted to have your laundry done, so in your packing, that's what it costs to get laundry. Which is pretty reasonable, I thought. We didn't use it because we didn't know it, so we just packed. Yeah. So all right, I think that does it. Right? What? What do you want? Bathroom. Bathroom. Show them the bathroom. Show them the bathroom. Show them the bathroom. Okay. 
So, bathroom, shower, and the shower has two doors. So, looking in the mirror, you can see behind here, it's a little better. It has two doors, which makes it easier to get in. There's plenty of room for a couple of RV years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the toilet is really loud when you flush it. It's a vacuum toilet. It will, uh, it will make a lot of noise. I guess I could do it. Should I do it? Yeah. Here we go. It probably sounds louder live than on camera. So I think that's it. Beth, anything else? No, that's it. Okay. We'll finish with looking out the window, I guess. Enjoy waving at the. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I'll tell you. It gets cold once you pick it up. <laughs> well, you're part of it. <laughs> What's up? Did you see your castle? It's right there, right behind you. Okay, looking at these vineyards, the guy was just explaining that the way they harvest is they lower people on ropes to pick the grapes. Isn't that crazy? And then they pull the grapes up by tractor, and it's mostly Eastern Europeans doing the work. So, I guess that's where the wine, uh, the wine, the grapes like to live. That's where you go to grow them. Yeah, I got some good train video for you. Okay. So, it's a little warmer. The wind must have picked up in yeah, our direction. Yeah. So, yeah, like Beth said, this is like a, a, a what train said? LGB. LGB trains. This is the big, the bigger train. Oh, bigger than old. Right, let's see if we get this one as he goes by. That one looks like Shannon's house. It's built right into the mountain. Yeah. Okay, this is an LGB train set in real life. You have the station, you have the bridge, 
It appears a little unusual, but that could be too. And then off in the distance, all the little houses. See, we didn't know we should put vineyards behind the building when we built train sets, did we? It's always just trees. So there you go. Man, you're white? No, you're fine. You can barely see them. There's some white dots. Those are goats. Or sheep. We don't know. Or sheep. But they're on the side of the mountain. Up on the hill is a lonely goat herd. Lady, oh, lady, oh, lady. Ooh. No, I'm leaving it in. And then there's this. This castle. This is another castle. We're racing a Camaro. <laughs> that is not a Okay, I gotta jump in here. This was really cool. When we docked here, this is the German corner. When we do when we docked here, the boat just did a pirouette and pulled right up to the Kaiser Wilhelm uh, Memorial. That was it was destroyed in 1945 and it was reconstructed in 1993. Two million people visit here every year, and we pulled up right next to it. How cool is that? But anyway, the German cor corner is where the Rhine and the Moselle rivers meet. Uh, the Germans call it Dosch Eck. Deutsch Eck? Dosch Eck. Forgive my German, it's not right, huh? Um, a Teutonic order of Germany was established here in 1216. So these two rivers have been coming together for a long time. The Germans call them Father Rhine and Mother Moselle. So like I had mentioned before, Kaiser Wilhelm, this statue is what uh, is a monument to him. And it sits right on the German corner, which is the, the two rivers we talked about. And this is right, right where the boat was. So I got off the boat and I went out to take a picture. And there's the boat with the fortress behind it. Uh, this is Kolbez. Germany, which is a really neat town. You'll see more. This dear. Yeah. 
This is our tour guide in character as a French spy, and we were all his collaborators. Really neat tour. Uh, interesting. Well, well done. Good walking tour. Activities, concerts. This is the places we started out on. This is uh, the cable car station. Uh, and uh, over there is a restaurant. And over there, where you see the red light, there is a museum. It's, it's cool. Sorry. This is absolutely amazing. We have a double rainbow that all the way across both sides. Just amazing. And the colors are separate. You can see each color. Through the spectrum. Yeah. <laughs> and look at the top. It's it's covering the top now. Yeah. It's like tripled up. Yeah, it will. I feel very blessed. One more time. Still not as pretty as you. Oh, thank you. Amazing. Cologne. Now this was a fun town. We did a tour here where the tour operator or the tour guide picked us up right at the boat and walked us to the cathedral, showed us some Roman ruins outside the cathedral, Gave us a little time inside and then brought us out to see a gothic church. Really a great tour. We had a lot of fun.
So this was the most innovative part of the tour on the tour guide's part. Towards the end of the tour, he got out his wallet and pulled out the different denominations of euros. Um, the 5, the 10, the 20. On each euro has a different period of architecture. And he explained that all to us. Meanwhile, we had our wallets out to look and see what he was talking about, which made it a lot easier to give him a tip. What do you think? This is, it's like magical. The kids and the toys. Why is this making noise? I don't hear it. Oh. oh. It's exploding? <laughs> it's making a noise. Oh, okay. Well, let's walk somewhere. I'll see what this guy's making. Okay. Okay. Just like this? Yeah. Okay. Keep going, it's okay. This way or that way? No, we're out of the Christmas market there, but it's okay, let's go that way. We'll go Christmas market. Christmas market. You wanted to see it, right? All of it. Do we go? I don't think we went this way. No? Or did we go halfway? All the, all no. the candles are lit now. Mm. See the candles? Mm -hmm. We've been down this aisle. Okay. That's good. It's not too cold out. I enjoy this Christmas market. I yeah. think that's big too. Yeah, absolutely. If we're going to do a Christmas market, the one in Cologne is a good one. There's Either. actually seven here in Cologne. Oh, this one that we're in is good. Yes. Plenty of food, and the food is separated from the souvenirs, mm -hmm. so it's easy enough to figure out what you want. But picked up a couple nice things. Yeah. Wondering how to get them home. <laughs> Yeah. We'll just leave a pair of shoes behind. Yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I've already, I already have some throwaways, some oh, yeah. first, first stages. Yeah. Okay. You wait till you, you'll see. Yeah, You'll see. <laughs> you'll be throwing stuff out. I'll be digging through the garden. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, but the souvenirs will get home. So. Okay. And there's something interesting here in Cologne. Up on this building over here. Up by the clock. I think I showed this during the day, but I don't think I videoed it. But up on the clock face underneath, there's a face where it's he sticks his tongue out. On the hour. On the hour. Oh, in that house there, that's where their parliament is. That's where the That's the city. Were. That's the city. Yeah. For the city. Probably that's the city. Work. That's the city. Yeah, for the city. And then across the street, you really can't see it, I guess. There's a big blue butt. So there. The public are mooning their politicians. At least those publics over there. Yeah. So, all right, that's enough low quality video. Shot in the dark in Germany in the cold. I am missing Florida a little bit. Yeah, it could be warmer. I'm missing <clears throat> San Diego somewhat. Oh yeah. I miss the kids, I miss the dog. Mm -hmm. so, but this is fun. It really is. Amazing. So they really, they did well with the twinkling lights. Oh, one more thing, switching the camera on. Oh.
as far as COVID goes, yes, they stamped our hands, and after they checked our Swiss passport for COVID-19, yeah, and then while we were having our glow on, um, the police came by and they had COVID checkers that they're coming to make sure that you had the stamp. Yep. So that's pretty good. Because you can't be here at the market without having to be fully vaccinated. Next year will be different. Yep. Next year this will all be open. Hopefully. Or we'll all not be here anymore. No. Nope. So whatever. Okay, that's it for now. <laughs> Is this, huh? Yeah. What do you think? It's an actual ice. The kids are ice skating right past us in the Christmas market below the really weird station. Oh, you're looking at the back side. Yep. But amazing. Yeah. Are you walking? Yeah, I got the camera on. Ah. So this is a whole nother market. <coughs> It's cheese and mushrooms. And there's a beer hall to the left of us here. A couple of them. <laughs> so it's a whole nother market. <laughs> That's the end of this video, which is also the end of our Viking cruise on the Rhine to see the Christmas markets. We really had a good time. And it was more than we expected and not as structured as we thought it would be. Uh, Viking was really good and we really enjoyed being on the Viking cruise. So that's it for the cruise. Hope you enjoyed it.